It's a wild story. <laughs> that morning that we made it, uh, we were actually in the back of a police car that morning. Before Rob Stone went viral with over 77 million plays on SoundCloud and 91 million views on YouTube for his song Chill, performing the 1207 crew, dropping his mixtape Straight Bummin' and I'm Almost Ready, or touring with Designer and his feud with Ski Mask the Slump God and XXX Tentacion would turn violent. Stone wanted to be a rapper since he was 5 years old, but didn't really expect he would be able to do it until he was pushed into recording by his longtime friend and collaborator Spooks. The two, actually all of Rob Stone's 1207 crew, came up together in the Lemon Grove neighborhood of San Diego. It was there that Rob Stone wrote and recorded his breakthrough track, Chill Bill, after getting arrested on burglary related charges. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Rob Stone prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now in the past, we've covered designer and XXX Tentacion, I'm working on Ski Mask the Slump God, he's just not returning my phone calls. As always, be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. For real, I actually have it. I can show you. Now let's just let's just get into this. Rob Stone was born Jalen Robinson on January 25th, 1995, in San Diego, California, and grew up in the Lemon Grove neighborhood. They named it San Diego. Which of course in German means a whale's vagina. All of his 1207 crew were his childhood friends, and Jalen first dreamt of becoming a rap star when he was just five years young. The idea was cemented in his mind during middle school after he saw Little Bow Wow's video, What's My Name, with Snoop Dogg. He did an after they were famous on Little Bow Wow recently because, well, you know, the whole thing with the money and the plane and it not being real. Anyway. Jalen grew up listening to Tupac, Dr. Dre, Steel Pulse, Master P, Gregory Isaac, Wiz Khalifa, Kid Cudi, and Erica Badu. He got deep into music thanks to his father's vintage music collection. His mother also had him listening to a lot of 90s R&B, and he soon expanded his listening to include hip hop, rock, and R&B, and his favorite genre of music to this day is reggae. By dreaming of becoming a rap star virtually his entire life, Jalen didn't really start rapping until after high school. His friend Spooks, who was featured on Rob Stone's biggest track, Chill Bill, was already regularly hitting the studio Lemon Grove with Jay Davis. Spooks pushed Jalen to start rapping and got him into the studio for the first time, but Jalen soon moved out to Atlanta, Georgia to start college. While there, he kept his focus on recording raps. Soon college seemed pointless and Jalen ultimately decided to drop out and return to San Diego. It's a fact. It's the greatest city in the history of mankind. <laughs> At the time, his main focus was becoming a rapper, but he also needed to pay the bills and wasn't too interested in getting, you know, like a real job. In May of 2014, the morning Jalen wrote Chill Bill, he found himself getting arrested and stuffed into the backseat of police car. His boy Spooks, Jay Davis, and Thom Cruz were arrested with him. The cops believed that the guys were planning on robbing a nearby house. And according to Jalen, we was going to, but it was a different house. Even though they got out, the arrest was a wake up call for Jalen, and inspired by the event, the guys got to work on a new song and finished writing it within an hour. Before they had a hit on their hands, they would have to sample that distinctive whistling sound, which originates from the 1968 psychological thriller Twisted Nerve. Here, got any change, mate? And the best of British luck to you, too. But considering the name Chill Bill, the 1207 crew probably heard it for the first time in Kill Bill Volume 1, right? Chill Bill would be the first song Rob Stone would put out. In fact, he came up with his stage name while writing the song. Aside from rhyming with two phones, Rob Stone worked as a moniker because it combined two other nicknames he had at the time. Like the Rob comes from J Rob, that's what people call the street, and then Stone comes from Still Stone, so other people call me. <laughs> Chill Bill featuring Jay Davis with Spooks would be incorporated as a part of his big state, Straight Bummin, released independently as a digital download on February 8, 2015. The music video released on YouTube on June 25th of the same year has accumulated over 91 million views at the time of this recording. The next year, it would later be released as a single and would be certified platinum, peaking at number 29 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 7 on the rap charts. 
The song would also go on to be remixed featuring Dram, Cousin Stiz, and Denzel Curry. In this time, Rob's buddies Spooks, Ed Jones, and Adam were expanding beyond hip hop, forming a band called Citrus. Rob was invited to become part of the group, but decided to focus on learning how to play the keyboard before officially joining the band. At the same time, he was working on his second mixtape and was being courted by major players in the hip hop industry. Hobson's longtime business partner and manager, Mike Sherman, discovered Rob online and after seeing him perform in San Diego, decided to set up a meeting with the budding artist. This eventually led to a deal with RCA, signed in April of 2016. With RCA, Rob released I'm Almost Ready on September 6th of that year. At the time of this recording, Rob Stone has yet to drop his much anticipated debut studio album, but he has made headlines for his recent beef with two of the hottest names in the hip hop world today, XXX Tentacion and Ski Mask the Slump God. Of those two names, which ones do you like better? I like Slump God, just that's me. XXX Tentacion is hard to say. The beef began when both Ski Mask and Rob Stone were touring a supporting acts of Designers Outlet Tour. When the tour made a stop in San Diego, Ski Mask arrived late and decided to go on stage just before Rob was due to perform. He asked the DJ for a mic but was refused. Despite this, he held his ground until security pulled him off stage. XXX Tentacia raged about the incident and since deleted tweets. Both Rob and Ski Mask also tweeted about the incident, but the beef would turn physical on April 10th when Rob's crew rushed the stage during a Ski Mask performance and knocked him off stage. She did to chase Ski Mask out of the venue and beat him up outside. Both rappers were removed from the tour and Rolling Loud decided to replace Rob with Ski Mask in order to avoid a confrontation between him and XXX at the festival. But then XXX was attacked on stage getting punched in the face on June 7. Hackers rumored to be an accomplice of Rob Stone's and apparently bribed the security to get on stage. Shortly after the attack, a 19 year old, who some believe to be the assailant, was rushed to the hospital in critical condition after suffering stab wounds. XXX denies that he had anything to do with the stabbing, and the feud fortunately turned from violence to music on June 10th when Rob Stone released a diss track aimed at both X and Ski Mask titled XX Extra Credit. After the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael Credit, and thanks for checking out this video. We make all sorts of celebrity bios. Be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. Click on these links right now to keep yourself entertained. See you guys in another video. Fucking XXX, man. Change that name. It's killing me.